I'm Mina Freed with CNET News here at Microsoft's Professional Developer Conference in LA, where I had a chance to check out the touch features in Windows 7. So I'm going to try and give a quick tour of some of the things you can do with touch gestures in Windows 7. So one of the things you'd expect to be able to do is to scroll through a document. So here I'm scrolling through the document. But this is a long document. It's uh, 12 pages or so. So I really want to go quickly. So I can just flick and it's going really fast. The other thing that you can do, let me go back to the top, is it lets you know when you've hit the bottom. So let me hold this steady for one sec. There you go. So I'm scrolling, I've hit the bottom. The actual window will bounce up and down. And you can use touch to do all kinds of things. You can launch a window. You can switch from one, um, switch between the others. So if I take my finger and go like that, I get what are called jump lists, which are a list of different actions for, for the individual program. Think of it as a start menu for that specific program. So here with Windows Media Player, if I scroll up, I, get, I can go straight to the player or I can flip up and I get a list of some frequent things, in this case playlists and albums. Uh, Outlook, you get a different list. If I go to Word, it's going to open up my most recently used documents. If I click on one of those, it's going to open up in Word. And you can use your finger to move a window around. Notice how if I move it to the side here, it resizes. So some of the Windows 7 features in action. That's a brief look at the Windows 7 features. These are the features that will be in the product but aren't in the build that was given out at the PDC here. These are features that uh, were shown on stage and are working but are not part of that build but should be in the first beta which Microsoft is said to expect early next year. Again for CNET News, I'm Ina Freed.